Drummond Island is located in the far east end of Michigan's Upper Peninsula. The only access to the island is by the Drummond Islander 4, 148-foot car ferry that operates 365 days a year. The Drummond Islander 4 has the ability to carry 32 cars for passage and travels between the town of Detour in the Upper Peninsula and Drummond Island. Drummond Island is comprised of 83,000 acres, 150 miles of rugged scenic shoreline, 133 square miles of forested landscape, and 34 inland lakes. Within this diverse habitat, a number of rare species, land formations, and plant species can be found. Some of these rarities are pudding stones, Maxim Plains Alvar, prairie smoke, and dry non-acid cliffs. The island contains 117 miles of ORV and snowmobile trails, two golf courses, many little shops, tons of camping, and of course fishing and hunting opportunities. The waters around the island contain 17 shipwrecks, the Detour Reef Lighthouse, and many islands. On clear days, the Canadian shoreline can be seen from most areas on the north side of the island. What's the walleye secret out here on Drummond Island? Well, Ted, I mean, it's an old, it's an old uh, secret that a lot of people don't know about. It's a lot of people all in the, the, the luck, the luck of the fish, the bite. What kind the of bait of do you use? What's well, the best? I use the uh, giant uh, earthworm and a nice uh, chartreuse harness with a large spinner blade. And sometimes that works, and sometimes oh, you catch just catfish. But it's fun to try, so that's the secret. Try, try, try. Keep trying. How's your success been this week, Timmy? Well, it's been terrific. The thing is, we got a perfect walleye chop today. And uh, coming across this island here, we got the bass. One bass. Yeah. And the boat. And all yeah. at once, I threw my new super secret yellow floating lure out uh -huh. and wham he tore into it how many weights did you have? i had on two weights and it was a nice choppy day this guy is about uh 16 and a half inches tall unfortunately the walleyes were elusive to the camera but we did get a few still shots to show you a few walleye and perch we picked up To find out more information to plan your trip to Drummond Island, check out www.drummondislandchamber.com.